It's officially December, most wonderful time of the year, and this is Grace Points. This is the season that many uh, call Advent, many in the Christian community. It's a, a season where we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. It goes from the Sunday after Thanksgiving all the way up to the day before Christmas. And it's not just a time where we celebrate the first advent of Christ when he was born, but also a time where we celebrate our anticipation of the imminent return of Jesus when he will come to take us home with him. So during this Advent season, over the next few weeks, we're gonna talk about the names of Jesus. No better place to start, right? So let's start with that name, Jesus. Matthew chapter one, verse 21 says, and she'll give birth to a son, and you'll call his name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Did you know that the name Jesus is just a transliteration of the Hebrew name Joshua, which means the Lord saves? And Joshua in the Old Testament led his people into Canaan. He led the children of Israel into the promised land. He fought battle after battle after battle against real enemies that were a threat to the people of God. So by the time Jesus comes about in Matthew chapter one, that second Joshua, the Bible says that they are given the mandate to call him Jesus because he's gonna save his people from their sins. And I tell you, he doesn't look anything like a Messiah. He doesn't look like the first Joshua and the people that are looking for the Messiah don't see anything in Jesus that's really Messiah-ish. Is that a word, Messiah-y? Is that a? Messiah ish. Anyway, he doesn't really look like the Messiah to them. They're looking for somebody that's going to put them in political power, that's going to have a throne and a scepter and an army. And instead, Jesus was born to a teenage girl and a carpenter. He walks around with 12 friends, telling parables, talking about the kingdom of God, performing miracles, and literally turning the world on its ear. And he doesn't win through, through battles fought with armies. He wins by enduring the cross, dying, going through death, uh, uh, raising, raising from the dead, ascending into heaven to make intercession, pleading our case in heaven. That's what he does. And he does it to break the bondage, to break the yoke of sin, and to welcome us into the heavenly family. And I gotta be honest with you as believers, Sometimes our challenge in really seeing Jesus in our lives is that he doesn't look the way we're, we're thinking he's supposed to look. When Jesus comes into your life, it doesn't always look like a promotion. It doesn't always look like more money. It doesn't always look like you're gonna win all the time. Sometimes when Jesus shows up into your life, it doesn't look like those things at all. In fact, when Christ shows up in the life, he comes into your life to break the bondage of sin and welcome you into his family. He comes to deliver you. That's the whole point of this advent of him being born, dying, and then coming again. It's to deliver us. I need you to know today, wherever you are, there's no addiction that the power of God can't break. There's no sin his love won't forgive. And nothing about you pushes Christ away unless you want to push him away. He longs to have a relationship with you. The name Jesus is so profound in our lives because we are sinful. I don't know about you, but I got, I got issues, man. I got problems. I'm not right all the time. But Jesus comes to save people like me. And I pray that you've accepted that Jesus in your life. And if you haven't, today is the day to do it. And if you have, good for you. Live like it. So anyway, next week we'll talk about another name for Jesus. I look forward to seeing you then. I know you've got a lot to do today. Don't forget my pen. You know, the one from last week that you took and haven't brought back. I did not forget, and I still want that pen back. Anyway, this is Grace Points. God bless you.